Hey guys, here's five parkour skills you can do in your house while self-isolating during COVID-19! I'm a gymnast, I do gymnastics. Wouldn't you like to do gymnastics? If you feel like you need a warm-up before you start, check out our COVID conditionings linked right up here. For all three of our skills that are on the ground today, Go ahead and throw down a thin blanket or something to just soften the floor a little bit. It'll make everything uh, just a little bit easier to try for your first few times. Now before we get to our first skill in this video, just like in the last one, we're going to warm up your wrists first. So as we did in the past, take your hands out in front of you, like you're balancing your phone on your forearm, and make little circles with your hands. Try going the other way as well. And then after that, we're gonna rock on your hands a bunch of different ways. So Jared will go down and show you that. First, you're gonna have hands facing forwards, and you're gonna tip forward and back. Then you're gonna turn your hands backwards and rock back on them. Then you're gonna put them together and rock in a circle. Come here. After that, you're gonna turn your hands over and you're gonna rock forward and back on top of them. All right, our first skill for today is called quadrupedal movement. We're gonna just say QM though, because it's way less complicated. So, this is what it's gonna look like, and then we'll teach you how to do it. This is really great if you wanna go up the stairs, but creep people out while doing it. So the first thing you guys are gonna do is you're gonna go down onto your hands and knees, and then you are going to practice lifting the opposite limbs. So if you're going to lift up your left hand, <laughs> you're going to lift up your right leg behind you. And then you're going to switch, and switch, and kind of challenge yourself, see how fast you can switch. Switch, 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 switch. Once you've done that, you're going to try exactly the same thing, but this time as you lift things up, you're going to move slightly forward. So you're going to actually be walking in this position. So lift up your opposites, and then move forward, and then lift up the opposites, and move forward. If you have trouble with this one, when you're going forwards, think of it as bringing your knee towards your elbow. So the one hand that isn't moving, you're going to bring the knee towards that hand. There we go. After that, we're going to try the exact same thing, but up on your feet. So now you're going to go hands and feet, and now you're going to lift your opposites. And then switch, and switch, and try and keep up with Jared, and switch, 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 and switch. <laughs> And then the exact same thing. Now we're gonna try lifting and then moving slightly forward and you're gonna walk like this doing quadrupedal movement. If you'd like to make it a little bit more difficult, you can try two different things. You can either try going up and down your stairs like this. Up, super easy. Down, not at all. So go slowly. You can also try going forwards, backwards, and sideways like Jared did. So when you go backwards, it's the opposite of the forwards one, obviously. You bring your elbow towards your knee. That's kind of the way we think about it. Try it on your knees first if you want to, and then try it on your feet. Elbow towards his knee. And then when we're going sideways, the easiest way to think of it is something, so your hands or your feet are coming, can you back up a little bit? Something is always coming closer together while something else is moving apart. So Jared will start with his feet together and his hands apart. And then as he steps right now, his hands will go close together, but his feet will come apart. And then the opposite. His feet will come together, but his hands will come apart. That's an easier way to keep yourself going on this guy. All right, so the next skill that we're gonna try is called a shoulder roll. What we're gonna do first is show you this, as we always do. Pay really close attention here. All we're asking you guys to do is a sideways roll. Do not try and make it any more complicated. That's all we're gonna go for. <laughs> Jared's gonna now show us a shoulder roll. This is a roll that is made to help you crash and in general just keep you safe when you're on very hard surfaces like concrete or hard wood. Uh, it is not made to go over the top of your head, it's made to go around so that we make sure that your neck and your spine and the top of your head are all protected as you do this. So if you notice that you're hitting your head on the ground each time, make sure it's more sideways and less forwards and over the top. All you guys are going to try first 
is going on hands and knees, just like we did in our QM skill that we just tried before this. And you're going to try rolling sideways. If you pay attention when Jared's doing this, what he's doing is he's lowering down onto his forearm, bicep, and shoulder, and he's using his hip and his butt to absorb. And then when he comes up on the other side, he does the exact opposite. He lifts up using his bicep, shoulder, and forearm, and using his hip and his shin. So we soften all these impacts. Instead of using the edges of our bones and our elbows and our knees, instead we use our muscles to lift us back. Next up, we're gonna try just the ending of the roll. This is the main part that most people have trouble with. There's all kinds of ways to do this roll, but we're gonna teach you a particular version, which is to pretty much make your legs into stairs. So one knee goes in the ground and the other foot goes in front. And all you're gonna do, Jerry's gonna move forward a little bit so he doesn't run into us, is you're gonna rock back and then you're gonna sit up in that same position. And then you're gonna try exactly that again, but you'll stand up off of your hip and your shin and up onto your foot. And then you're gonna try the exact same thing on the other side. The way to know which leg you'll be using is whichever shoulder you end up rolling over. So for instance, if you're gonna roll your sideways roll over your right shoulder, that means you're gonna come up with the left hip, the left hip, means you're gonna come up with the left hip or butt cheek on the ground. So right arm, left butt, or left arm, right butt. Sideways roll, which went over his left shoulder and comes up on his right butt. Now you're gonna try mixing the two things together. So you're gonna start on your hands and knees. You're gonna do the sideways roll, and then you're gonna come up like we just showed you. You're gonna try and come up on one knee and one foot. And then to make it only slightly more diagonal, like Jared did in his first one, you'll just try, instead of rolling straight sideways, you'll roll very slightly more forward. So Jared will point his head at me just a little bit more, and then he'll still roll in the same direction once the cat has moved. And then your last step is to try the exact same thing, but from your feet. All right, so the next skill we're gonna try is called a side vault. I'm gonna get Jared to show one of those down off of his bed first, and then we'll teach you guys how to work up to it. First up, we're gonna train these on the ground, just to make them a little bit easier to learn, a little bit safer, and then we'll take them going up onto and down off of objects. So the first thing you're gonna try is doing almost a miniature cartwheel for a little like circle spin on your hands on the ground. It's gonna like this. So his belly button's gonna start pointing towards the camera, and when he's done, his feet will have rotated around to the other side and his belly button will be pointing at that wall. Make sure to try this on both sides. Next up, and make sure you have lots of room for this. So Jared's gonna have a little bit of a cramped time, but that's okay. We're gonna try the side vault itself on the ground. So you're gonna take your hands and pull the ground along beside you and end up with your feet farther ahead of where your hands started in the first place. Next, we're gonna take that same cartwheel approach that we just learned and we're gonna try doing it off of an object because this is the easier way to land this. It makes you fall over less and it's a little bit easier to just try the different ones. If you notice on this one, Jared takes his hands and turns them sideways, so it's a little bit easier for him to land. If you keep them forward, it's gonna be a bit hard, just like that. Now we're gonna try the same thing, but this time we'll do it off of the object with our hands pointed forwards, just like the regular side vault, like Jared demonstrated at the beginning. When he finishes, his belly button is still pointing the same direction as it was at the very beginning. Now we're gonna try the same thing up onto the object. If you need to, you can do the cartwheel style first, or like Jared's gonna do, you can just go straight forwards after this. The next step for this would be to try doing it over something. Easy place to do that is over the arm of a couch. If you watch here, Jared is gonna go over the side where there is no extra furniture. So this is a really good way to learn how to do this skill because you never actually have to jump over the object with your feet. If you're a little bit shorter than we are, you can go ahead and try that on something a little bit longer and try and have your feet go over the object, but we're gonna leave that where it is for right now. Next up is a monkey vault. Again, Jared will show you that first up onto his bed and then we'll explain on how you're gonna learn this. The first thing you're gonna learn how to do is donkey kicks 
on an object. So the edge of your bed is actually really good for this. So Jared's just gonna put his hand on the edge of his bed and he's just gonna kick his feet up into the air together a bunch of times. Next up, we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the ground. Make sure your arms stay nice and strong here. And you're pushing against the ground with your fingertips. You don't wanna tip all the way over. Next up, we're gonna do the same type of donkey kicks, but you're gonna hop off of your hands onto your feet. So you're gonna go back and forth between hands and then feet, hands, feet, hands, feet. So you get used to popping off your hands. Use your fingertips to flick off of the ground to make this a bit easier. Next up, we're gonna do what's called a squat on up onto the object that you're working with right now. So you put your hands on it, donkey kick, but this time instead of landing your feet back on the ground, they're gonna land on the bed right in between your hands or close to them. If you have trouble with that, put your hands much farther forwards and land your feet still behind your hands. To get the skill all the way, you do the exact same thing, but as you pop up onto the bed with your feet and your donkey kick, you're gonna pretend like the bed or the object you're using is really hot and you're gonna pop your hands back off after you've used them. This is the last skill, it's called the ground roll. It's nice and easy. We're gonna go through it pretty quickly and then you guys are done. So, what we're gonna do to try first is you're gonna sit down like Jared is right now. You're gonna have your hands sideways beside you and you're gonna rock back and forth side to side and touch each hand and push off onto your butt again, back and forth. Once you've gotten comfortable with that, you're gonna keep on rocking, but then you're gonna push off one of the hands and stand up onto your feet. If you notice, just like the shoulder roll, Jared used his shin and his thigh to push off of as well. This is gonna be super important. So we watch one more time. Shin and thigh, and then he steps up, just kinda like a shoulder roll actually. The next step is we're going to do the opposite. So you're gonna start standing. Your hand is gonna go across your body and turn backwards, because this, this is the only part where you actually really twist. As you sit down, you'll notice that again, he puts his shin and his thigh down on the ground. Points his hand backwards, shin and thigh, rolls around, and then you stop there. After that, you put the two things together and you'll get a ground roll. Hey, buddy. Try it on both sides, as this is a fairly simple flow move that's really nice for putting into lines of multiple skills later on as just a cool little spicy thing to add in the middle. All right, that's it for five parkour skills you can learn in your house. Progressions were a little faster, so the video is a bit shorter than last time. If you're looking for a workout to finish off your gymnastics conditioning, you can check out COVID conditionings right up there. See you next video. Gymnastic.